All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is not your average video. Uh, I'm hopping onto this trend at very late of uh, Natty or not. And due to the fact that I am a 72 time Olympia champion and a doctorate in uh, bro science, and the fact that I have a tie on means that I am a very credible source, and everything I say is uh, pretty much absolute without a doubt. And uh, basically, what we're doing today is that uh, we're going over a couple specimens that I've hand selected and we're just gonna be judging whether or not uh, I think they are natty or actually no let me rephrase that whether they are natty or not so the first specimen we're doing Superfly from the Ninja Turtles movie so right off the bat this first picture he's got he's got pretty good obliques going on his chest is pretty pretty massive honestly for his size I think he's like seven feet tall or something like that um he does seem to have a muscular imbalance when it comes to his uh, right arm and his left arm. That could be worked on. Um, his traps, they are lacking, which is a sign of being natty because most people that are enhanced happen to have huge traps. This other picture that we have here is a uh, better... And then this next picture is actually a better view of his full physique when he's standing. Um, he seems to have wings. That's kind of weird. I haven't seen any uh, natural athletes with that. Although that could be some, I don't know, genetic mishap. Who knows? Um, so at first glance, this guy looks natty, all right? He's got good attainable physique, uh, you know, muscular imbalance. That's a good sign. Uh, he is lacking in his legs, unfortunately. I don't see much quad or calf development there, so that could be something he uh, could improve on. But other than that, he looks nutty. However, upon further research, um, I did happen to find out that he's taking something called uh, mutagen. I don't know where he's getting it from. I don't know who his dealer is. Uh, uh, Superfly, if you're watching this, please put me in contact with your dealer. Uh, I'm very much forward looking to getting my hands on some of that uh, mutagen. Unfortunately, he is not natty. So, um, you know, it's a little disappointing because as he is now, he looks like he has amazing genetics and he could, he could honestly beat some of the bodybuilders nowadays. But, um, like I said, he's not natty and, uh, we are going to move on to the next specimen. All right. Next on our list, you might, uh, some of you might know this man. His name is Larry Meals. Uh, here's a picture of him recently, I believe. Um, he's got an amazing chest right off the bat, like his I mean, um, sorry, what? Chest seems to be very, very large. He's got nice broad shoulders. He seems to have some vascularity going on, which is impressive for someone of a uh, higher caloric intake per se. However, his traps do look abnormally large, which is also an indicator of not natural um, because he's got a little bit of double chin going on. I don't know what's going on there. I can't remember. The, I don't think this guy's ever done cardio a day in his life, which isn't bad. But as me personally, me personally, I would do a little bit more cardio. Overall, his upper body looks pretty good. This next picture is a uh, just of his upper body. But even though we can't see his legs, I want to assume his legs are ginormous. Because someone that's built like this has to have giant legs. Like, it's just not possible. Based off of this, um, he's got great arms, great forearms, and vascularity. It's honestly pretty impressive. And I must admire how big his biceps are. Um, I did read that he has a bicep tear on one of his arms. And to still have that size and strength, it's pretty pretty admirable, I must say. Um, his midsection is a little lacking. You can see there's like some ab definition there. He must have previously been lean to have some ab definition there. He um, he seems to have a predominantly lower pec. You can see he's got. I don't know if that's gyno, if that's just a overly dominant lower pectoral muscle. But overall, his chest is still pretty good. Again, traps and neck, pretty uh, pretty uh, outstanding points right there when it comes to juicing. But overall, I just don't think he's natural. To be that size and that big, I, I just don't think it's natural. Right, up next is actually someone that I'm not familiar with. Uh, one of my friends recommended him to me, and he, I, he caught my eye, and I was like, wow, this is a genetic specimen right here. This is an, an abnormality. This is an actual unit. Someone that came out of the womb just shredded and just ginormous, quite literally. Um, Thanos here, he seems to have nice shoulders, nice biceps going on. 
I don't know if it's this suit that's throwing me up, but he looks to have big traps. He does look a little wide though, but um, that that you know obviously doesn't mean that he's not he couldn't be shredded underneath that vest. We'd have to uh, find a picture of him shirtless. But honestly, he does have a very promising physique from what I can see. Like I said, uh, that vest is very, you know, it's covering everything that's underneath. But as someone that's standing 8 feet tall and over 900 pounds, he does seem to have some striations and vasculary going on. Which is very impressive for someone that height. Um, my first instinct would be that he's not natural. But... Uh, uh, upon further research, I actually found out he's not from this planet. Uh, I would have never guessed that, but he's not from this planet. So I don't know what their genetics are like or how their physiology works. Their pituitary gland seems to work differently considering how big he is. But honestly, if he, if he were to compete with some of the best bodybuilders on this planet, like uh, Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman, Seabum, uh Dino even, or uh, Danny DeVito even, he could very well beat them all and just wipe the competition uh, quite literally. He seems to have amazing biceps and pre pretty good uh, forearms. You can see a little bit of his um, quads right there. Seems to be very large. I want to guess he could squat uh, 10,000 pounds. Maybe, maybe. He could probably do that for reps. I wouldn't know. Um, he is bald. Which is which? Hair loss is usually an indicator of uh, juicing. However, due to his physiology, I genuinely think he's natural. Um, I don't know what that nutsack, easy looking shit is. Up next is someone that you all will definitely know. He's been all over social media um, and a big, 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 quite literally big advocate for ego lifting, and is against science-based lifters. Sam Sulek. Now, right off the bat, this man is ginormous. He's a specimen. He's a freak of nature. I've never seen lat veins before, and that is that is impressive. I like, wow. Anyways, right off the bat, his his abs and obliques are just on point. You can see this. You can see the insertions right there. That is it, that is very impressive. You look at his arms. They they are massive. Like that right there looks like the size of. Obama's head if maybe bigger honestly great uh forearms and then you can see how big his tricep is on the side and uh overall he he has an amazing physique uh this is definitely something that is attainable natural and that's what leads me to believe that he is natural now this physique right here is definitely something that's attainable as a natural and honestly to get to this size at at his age is remarkable and very commendable um, I did find this picture, however, here, uh, that, that's very recent that he edited, which is a little disappointing. It's just not right. I mean, it takes a true expert to tell that they're edited. I mean, you can see right here, there's like a, there's a slight, slight bending of the lockers behind them. Um, and overall, it just looks unnatural. But, uh, if you look at all of his other pictures, those aren't edited. Uh, this man is clearly someone that is natural. All right, and last but not least, we have Greg Doucette, a.k.a. the high-pitched voice man from YouTube that sells his cookbook, which, by the way, you should buy my cookbook. Not only is it cheaper, but it's 10 times better than whatever he sells. I don't know what he's, it's, it's what, I don't know what's in his book. I don't know what he's selling. I actually can't even read. I had someone write this book for me. However, you should completely trust everything I say uh, because I have a tie-on. He's buying my cookbook. It's called How to Get Big. Um, I don't know if it actually says how to get big. I tried typing it up, but I can't, I'm kind of dyslexic and can't read, so it might say something else. Anyways, right off the bat, his physique looks pretty incredible. It is, he's nice and shredded. I believe this was a couple days out from show. Great delts. He's got good biceps going on. His, his triceps and forearms are kind of lacking, but they can be made up due to the angle. His forearm looks pretty good from that angle. Um... His obliques look nice and shredded. His abs are a little lacking. I don't know if that's because of his age or uh, him not hitting them properly. However, due to his age, he is not natural. I don't think someone of his age could achieve this without any, without some sort of enhancement. I mean, he probably has issues in bed prior to 
enhancement, but like now it's uh, beyond recovery. Anyways, guys, leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below any other athletes that you want to see me review and go over. Um, this was very fun to do, if you could tell by the excitement that's on my face. And uh, I hope to see you all in the next video. Remember, drink water, have safe sets, and blast anabolic steroids.